Welcome. Good afternoon, family and friends. We have come here today to celebrate the wedding of Naomi and Adam. Oh, if, excuse me, it looks like we have a late arrival before we get started. walk up the aisle. <laughs> Chris <laughs> did the first one. Okay. On behalf of the bride and groom, thank you for joining us. By your presence, you celebrate with them the love they have discovered in each other, and you support their decision to commit themselves to a lifelong relationship. Marriage is a bond to be entered into only after considerable thought and reflection. By making this commitment today, Naomi and Adam's relationship will become stronger, better, and deeper. Today, they demonstrate their devotion to each other by dedicating themselves to a life together, and they show their respect for each other. By setting forth to honor the vows they speak today, their lives, which began on separate paths, will be joined as one. Deep, abiding affection the magical and compelling shared impulse that makes us each seek each other's company is among the greatest gifts of the human experience. Any of us who have been fortunate enough to find and express the kind of loving devotion that we are celebrating here today knows that it is an awesome and beautiful thing. At this time, I would like to share three suggestions with the both of you. My first suggestion is this. Be constantly grateful for this precious person who has chosen to make a life with you. My second suggestion is this. Be generous with compliments. Be attentive and helpful. The world can be a tough place and any of us can be subject to rough handling. Each of you can, by your tenderness towards each other, kind words and thoughtful actions make your marriage and your home an uplifting refuge. Last, but perhaps most importantly, make truth the unfailing bedrock of your lives together. A happy, loving marriage is built on trust and respect. That trust and respect can only be sustained if you are both deeply committed to always being open and truthful every exchange, no matter how small. My hope for you is this, that you have many long years to delight in each other's company, to feel gratitude for your great fortune in having found each other, to make home together that is at once sheltering and welcoming to do meaningful, productive work at home and in the world, to love and be loved by the friends and family who have come here today to support you and those that will come in the future. A strong marriage also nurtures each of you as separate individuals and allows you to maintain your unique identity and grow in your own way through the years ahead. It is a safe haven for each of you to become your best self. You have a deep love for each other, the security of companionship and the blessing of a deep trust. You are agreeing to share your strengths and weaknesses, responsibilities and shortcomings in addition to that love. It takes trust to know in your hearts that you want only the best for each other. It takes dedication to stay open to one another, to learn and grow even when it is difficult to do so. It takes faith to go forward together without knowing what the future holds for both of you. Naomi and Adam, you're already joining hands. <laughs> Adam, do you take Naomi to be your wife? Yes. Naomi, 
Do you take Adam to be your husband? Yes. Adam, please repeat after me. Naomi, I take you as you are. Naomi, I take you as you are. Loving who you are. Loving who you are. I promise from this day forward. I promise from this day forward. To be grateful for our love and our life. To be grateful for our love and our life. To be generous with my time, my energy, and my affection. To be generous with my time, energy, and affection. To be patient with you and with myself. To be patient with you and myself. To fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter. To fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter. To inspire you to grow as an individual. To inspire you to grow as an individual. To love you completely. To love you completely. These things I pledge to you. These things I pledge to you. Naomi, please repeat after me. Adam, I take you as you are. Adam, I take you as you are. Loving who you are. Loving who you are. I promise from this day forward. I promise from this day forward. To be grateful for our love and our life. To be grateful for our love and our life. To be generous with my time, energy, and my affection. To be generous with my time, <laughs> my affection, <laughs> and my affection. To be patient with you and myself. To be patient with you and myself. To fill our life with adventure. To fill our life with adventure. And our home with laughter. And our home with laughter. To encourage you to grow as an individual. To encourage you to grow as an individual. To love you completely. To love you completely. These things I pledge to you. These things I pledge to you. Your wedding ring is a symbol of your promise to one another. The ring, an unbroken, never-ending circle, is a symbol of committed, unending love. Adam, as you place this ring on Naomi's finger, please, Naomi's finger, please repeat these words after me. This ring symbolizes my love for you. This ring symbolizes my love for you. And the commitments we made today. And the commitments we made today. Naomi, as you place this ring on Adam's finger, repeat these words after me. This ring symbolizes my love for you. This ring symbolizes my love for you. And the commitments we made today. And the commitments we made today. Naomi and Adam, you have come here today your own free will with and in the presence of family and friends, and have declared your love and commitment to each other. You have given and received a ring as a symbol of your promises. By the power of your love and commitment to each other, and by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations. Friends and family. You can kiss her. Friends and family, I now present to you the newly married couple, Naomi and Adam Westwood. Yeah.